think in every single video, I'm just gonna start drinking a different beer and uh, giving it a one to 10 rating. Miller High Life has been my go-to recently. I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10. I got like over 20 things to show you guys. Oh, wait, let me turn my AC off, it's pretty loud. This light ring makes me look so pale. Like I'm, I'm not this pale in real life. This is more like it right here, I guess. First up, I have this jacket right here from Post Archive Faction. This is called the 4.0 Jacket Right. It's a really simple jacket. It's kind of formal, but at the same time, it's very tech wear esque. The main detail in this jacket is on the elbows. It has this little polyester hit. The material in the elbow is kind of stretchy, so whenever your arms bend, the jacket kind of bends with it. You guys have probably heard me talk about this brand before. It's one of my favorites. A lot of the South Korean designers have been making some really cool, innovative, experimental stuff. Post Archive Faction and XLM, which is also out of South Korea, are two of my favorite brands right now. This jacket's nice because, like I said, you can dress it up or you can just throw it on with like a tech wear type outfit. It works either way. This is a size medium, and I kind of wish I had a small, but it still works. It's just a little bit long in the body. A lot of the stuff in this video I picked up over the winter when it was colder out, and obviously now it's summer, but I'm still gonna show them to you guys. This right here is a puffer from a brand called Jacove. This is the Goose Down Puffer. Very, very warm. I haven't worn it since this past winter, or actually this spring when I was in Utah. It was pretty chilly out and I put it on. This released in two colors. It was like a brownish color and like this grayish one. I think it has an object dye to it. As you can tell, all the seams look really cool, and I don't really know how this process works, but it's definitely interesting. The hood is detachable with these little buttons that go all around the back. Two big pockets up front. And then within those pockets, there's another one that you could put stuff down in. You guys have probably heard me talk about this brand Jacob before. I really like a lot of their products. In my last video, I showed this hat that's also from Jacob. It's just completely cooked from the climbing gym. There's chalk all over it, but... I ended up getting a new one. It's the same silhouette, but it's in this ripstop material. This has been my go-to hat. It's my favorite hat silhouette I've honestly ever owned, and I just wear it pretty much every day. But it's really cool. It has a little zipper pocket in the top. It's very comfy. It just fits my head well. This is actually the only pair of pants in the whole video, and it's a pair of corduroy elephant pants from a brand called Tommy Pointer. These have been my favorite pants as of recent. They're just really, really flowy and baggy. They have these deep cut front pockets. The actual cords themselves are just very, very big, which I'm sure is why they're called the elephant corduroy pants and just the size of the pant overall is just massive. You can't really tell because of the corduroy, but they do have belt loops on them. Button closure up front with a zipper, and then on the back they have pockets as well. I've been wearing these with like bigger shoes, boots mainly. They just kind of swallow the shoe, but it's a really effortless look. I actually fell asleep in these one night. They're very comfortable, and they're soft, and I like them a lot, so big shout out to Tommy Pointer. I'm gonna do a little t-shirt speed run here. I think I have like, yeah, four of these white ones. This first one's kind of funny. Somebody DM'd this to me and said it looked just like me, and honestly, if you've seen my profile picture, that looks just like me. And I also like skiing, which is a crazy coincidence. I don't know, I thought it was funny, and so I just bought it, but it doesn't even fit me. Might just drop some, some merch that looks like this. Next up, uh, I got an Apex Twin shirt. I just bought this on his website. It was like 25 bucks. I listened to Apex Twin quite a bit, so I figured why not pick it up. It's a soft shirt, it fits well. He shipped out pretty fast, so shout out to Richard. Next up is some more merch. This is from a band called The Help. They've been one of my favorite bands the past year or so, and I actually went and saw them in New York. It's a really cool graphic and like I said, they make really cool music so I would definitely check them out. My go-to like beater sneaker recently has been these Tom Sachs general purpose shoes. I'm sure you guys remember Tom Sachs releasing the Mars Yard shoes back in the day that everybody wanted but they were just too expensive. They started going for like, I think they go for like $3,000 now but Tom Sachs is just a really cool guy. When I saw the first release, I didn't love the colorway but whenever he dropped these, I was like, you know what? I gotta have them. They're just all light brown and they have this contrasting dark brown color. They're primarily made out of this mesh material, but they also have some suede throughout. Nike embossed on the back. They have the classic Nike logo up front. Little Tom Sachs tag on the inside. It's a pretty grippy bottom. Something about a patent on there. I didn't think I would wear these that much, but I've been wearing them like at least once a week. I wear them to work. They're just classic looking. I don't know. I just, I like them. I like them a lot. Next shoe is a pair of Margiela Gats. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know I've had a couple pairs of these. Um, this pair is actually all black and they're just rubber dipped. So it's a leather gat underneath, but they've dipped the shoe in rubber. It's kind of a weird like squeaky texture. I'm not really a fan of that, but um, they're really shiny. Honestly, I haven't worn these a ton and I'm probably gonna sell them, but they're a size eight. So if you wanna buy them, just let me know. Overall, they're a cool shoe. I'm not really gonna talk too much about them. You guys have probably seen Marshall the Gats a thousand times, but classic silhouette. I think it's just the fact that they're all black. They kind of remind me of like fast food worker shoes. Next up, I have this t-shirt that I'm wearing now and the two here 
are all three from a brand called Blood Thinner. They were kind enough to send me this three pack of black tees. If you guys are familiar with Fernando over at Unsound Rags and Silver League, this is his brand. They came in this gray color that I'm wearing here, a faded black, and then a solid black. I got a size small and I'm five foot 10 for reference and they just fit perfectly. They're not too long. The sleeves are shorter, it fits slimmer in the body. I'm kind of sick of the whole like cropped boxy t-shirt trend. Like, I don't know, I just don't like my t-shirts to fit like that. And the fact that it's just being pushed for everybody to wear cropped boxy stuff is kind of obnoxious. These tees fit really well and I wish I had like 15 of these but I guess three is just gonna have to do. Next I got a jersey from a brand called Sports with a bunch of S's. This is like a Umbro soccer jersey I believe and it has these stencils on the top. It has these stars on this side and the loading sign on the other and honestly I didn't really buy into the whole bloat core trend. I guess this would fall into that category. This capsule of jerseys that Sports dropped was like biking jerseys and I think some soccer jerseys. Maybe some other ones as well but I just like the way this looked it fits me well and also this hat that I'm wearing is from sports I'll show it to you guys I probably have a really bad hat head right now but it has the sports logo on the side and then a logo on the front that I think is also supposed to spell like that's the S and then there's like a bunch of letters in there that help spell it sports I don't know this is from the same guy that runs the vintage store called H Threads that I like a lot and yeah this has just been a cool jersey to wear I don't have any other jerseys in my wardrobe so it's nice to have this. This sweater here is from a brand called Satraga. It's just this really loose gauge knit material. You can pretty much see through it. If you didn't wear a shirt underneath this, you'll be able to see skin. Whenever I wear this, I usually put on a long sleeve, like a black long sleeve underneath. Just because I don't know, I don't like showing my skin through a sweater. I think some people can pull that off. I'm not one of them. The sweater fits pretty cropped and it has really long sleeves that are actually super wide at the end. Very slouchy, relaxed fit. A lot of sweaters I've had in the past have really short fibers, so they get really itchy and this one does not have have that issue. This one's really soft, cozy, it's good for layering, and it's just overall a really nice sweater. And also this brand's been putting out some really good stuff. I saw some shorts they dropped recently that I really liked. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you probably saw that I posted about this. This is like a motorcycle jacket. It has padding all throughout it, so it's really heavy. It's almost seven pounds, I believe, um, but it's just all leather. It's got like this preferred leather in the front, and it's got padding on the forearms here. It's got shoulder pads. It's obviously built for somebody riding a motorcycle so they don't get injured. But I thought it was cool. And I know Balenciaga referenced this jacket. Cardi wore it. That's not why I bought it, but it might have had something to do with it. People on TikTok were calling me a poser. Like all the motorcycle guys were pissed. They were like, you're a poser. Like, why do you have this jacket if you don't have a motorcycle? But it looks cool. Something about Alpine Star's logo is just really sick to me. Not practical, but a really cool pickup. If you want to buy it, DM me. I might sell it. I keep forgetting about my shoes. These are probably one of my favorite footwear pickups I've gotten. These are a pair of boots from a brand called AKME. They're a uh, footwear designer based out of Los Angeles and this is the Untitled 3 model. They're just a high top boot with a Vibram sole on them. They're made of a really really soft leather material. Like I wish I could show you guys how soft. I mean you can probably see it like crinkling up. It's just buttery soft leather up top. And then in the middle, there's like this thicker leather. And then here on the midsole area, they have this like flap guard just to prevent it from getting scratched up and stuff. Down the middle, there's this zipper and that's just how you get the shoe on and off. No laces or anything, which I was kind of worried about, but honestly they fit snug. They're comfortable. I would definitely check this brand out. They released these alongside four other models. Just the attention to detail on the shoe is insane. Like there's this soft leather coming through the tougher leather. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of some of the Kanye sample boots that never released but I love these. They fit perfectly into my wardrobe. And also, they came with this really, really cool poster. I really want to hang this up. My other favorite pair of boots right now is these ones from Somar. These are called the Somar Grunt Boots. I've been wearing these a ton recently. I used to have a pair of combat boots and I really regretted selling them. And I just felt like something was missing in my wardrobe, so I had to pick these up. Owen was kind enough to give me the password of the website, so I got them early. Big thank you to Owen if you're watching this. But yeah, the boot is just all black leather, but you can tell on the seams here, there's exposed brown leather. It's got this Goodyear well lug sole. It says oil resistant on the bottom, I believe. So I guess if you're walking through some oil, you're good. So whenever I had boots in the past, the tongue would always slide to the side of my foot. If you have boots, you know what I'm talking about. These have like this trifold tongue. The tongue secures itself around your leg and it just stays. I'm pretty sure this is the first footwear item Somar has ever released and they absolutely killed it. So great pair of boots and I've just been wearing them nonstop. So there you have it. Somar Grunt Boots. Next up, I have this trend 
trench coat. I'm not sure what era or what year this is from, but the buttons on it broke, so you can't like close it, which is fine by me, honestly. It's just really faded out. It looks like an acid wash or something when you look up close with light. I believe this used to be a different color and it's just been over dyed black. It's a really thick canvas material. It's a longer fit. It looks really cool when you layer it over other things. And I'll be getting a ton of wear out of this this winter, I'm sure. I don't even know why this is on the clothing rack, but I got some merch at the Destroy Lonely concert. It's like the Elite's collaboration. Speaking of Elite's though, if you guys wouldn't mind, please go DM Matthew Williams and tell him to unblock me on Instagram. I'm a fan of Elite's. I like the brand. I don't know what I did. I never DM'd him. I might have like commented something funny on one of his pictures, but if everybody DMs him, he'll unblock me. Next up, I got another hoodie. This one is from Age Threads. They were kind enough to send this over, so I really appreciate that. This is the triple zip hoodie in all black. And as you can tell, it has three zippers, three hoods, three hoodie strings on each side. I've had people ask me if this is three full hoodies sewn together, and it's not. It's just the front part, just the zippers and the hoods. It's not like three hoodies thick all throughout, but this is a really cool idea. It has a longer fit to it. It fits very relaxed. It's cozy. I'm not sure if you can still buy these, but if you can, I'll leave a link down below. I know there was a feature where you could kind of customize the hoodie and put whatever colors you wanted. This was an awesome idea and I'm really glad you sent one of these over to me. But yeah, you guys know I love H Threads. Big shout out. They're always hooking it up. After this, I have one more pair of shoes to show, but this is just a vintage workwear jacket. I know it probably seems boring, but it fits me like a glove. I tried it on at a vintage store up in the mountains in Asheville and it just has these two front pockets on it, a zipper closure up the middle, and then the inside is like this purplish pink color, which is kind of funny. It might even be a woman's jacket. I'm not sure. I've been thinking about dyeing it black. I don't know. Some about this like army green color recently i just i don't really like it anymore i used to love it but as you can tell by the rack behind me everything's like white black or gray it seems like these days for me so the last thing is this pair of bottega veneta tire boots this is called the camping colorway i'm pretty sure it's a black upper and a brown sole one of the chunkiest soles on any shoe i've ever seen it's just massive they're very heavy they go well with wide pants like my tommy pointer pants i showed you guys these pair up perfectly with those i had a pair of white ones a couple months back and I showed them on the channel. Those weren't as wearable, so I ended up selling them. Honestly, it's kind of weird. I feel like the Bottega trend kind of died. Like Kanye was wearing it, so everybody was wearing it. Kanye stopped wearing it. Everybody stopped wearing it. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I feel like I haven't seen a ton of Bottega recently. I think it was more of a 2020 trend or maybe even 2021. I don't know. I like a lot of Bottega stuff. I just can't really justify the price tag on it. That's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully this isn't too long. And I'm going to put some New York footage at the end. I really appreciate you watching if you made it to this point. I'm going to do a rating subscribers outfit challenge. I'm going to put the email address on the screen that you guys should send it to. And me and my friends are just going to roast you guys. So that'll be fun. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put on the screen over here but i will catch you guys in the next one peace My first time in New York, flying out at 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. No hotel. Every New York stereotype known to man has been displayed here today. We just tried to go to the Rick store. They were closed. Margella closed. Second Street let Mid. down. Mid. I'm wearing a Help t-shirt. It's like such a fanboy right now. Concerts in a couple hours. We're going to get some more drinks. Yeah, I'll probably put some concert footage in here. We'll see. It's hot as fuck. Loud as fuck. Yeah, I'm dying. We just left the Irish pub. Feeling like a bloke. And we're on the way to... Uh, we're on the way to the concert.